Good afternoon, this is Pam with Follow Your Brush with some exciting news today. Thank you for following me and subscribing and liking and all those things that people do online. I just received my order from a known beam in Canada of handmade paints. These are just beautiful. I have swatched them. If you don't know about Anung, I will put her website and information on the description. So you can look her up. She's really fascinating. Her parents uh, were both artists and creators and um, she kind of grew up with paint making and adventure and um, in her DNA almost when her, she asked her mother about a color one time, uh, she actually was so fascinated with the name of the color, which was chartreuse. She was just little, about four, I think she said. She actually ate some of the little maple saplings because she not only wanted to see the color, but she wanted it to be in her. So from that love of pigment and paint and creativity, she is started her, has her company there in Canada. Um, so all the pigments are locally resourced and made into these gorgeous colors. They came in these little bags. They're called paint stones. And here you can see one of them. The colors I received are Salish, Salish Sea, Great Ocean, Pine, Red Clay, Fog, Sulfur, Almost Night, Gold, and Orca. Then the other thing that I did, which is really exciting, was I got my granddaughter a little gift bag that they offer. Comes in this cute little bag. It says Bean Paints. And I got her the Birch set of 11 colors. On the back it says Happy Birthday Lark. And then here's her colors. I swatched them as well. We have Cherry Magenta, Strawberry, Pumpkin, Morning Peach, Fall pop, Poplar Yellow, Spring Green, Robin's Egg, Almost Night, Great Ocean, and Lilac. Beautiful, beautiful little palette, and it comes with this in the birch from the tree and some homemade paint. And then they also sent her a little travel brush to go with it. So that's for Lark's birthday. I'm not gonna paint with them, but I did swatch them because I wanted to see what they look like. And I think she's gonna enjoy them as much as I did playing with them. I do wanna do a little bit for you to see, show you how they, how they paint. It's one thing to swatch them, but it's another thing to actually play with them, isn't it? I'm gonna use my handmade brushes from Tracy Levinson so we can play uh, with some of these colors. This is what, you know, it's one thing to look at them, but it's another thing to actually use them. This one is called Fog. I have already wet these earlier when I when I did my swatches, so we're gonna get some. Already been wet. They're highly, highly pigmented. So we're gonna have a foggy sky here. And they almost shimmer when they dry. Uh, some of the colors have just like a um, beautiful sparkle to them. So here's our foggy sky. Let me put some water underneath seems to be one of my default paintings is sky and ocean I guess because I grew up in Florida I like to go to the water so this is drying nicely it goes on beautifully 
uh, Tracy's brushes are handmade. This is a goat hair synthetic. And uh, he makes each one of these brushes by hand. And if you're interested in Tracy's brushes, I'll put his link in there too. Put a, give me a comment in the um, comment section and ask about my group on Facebook. You'll be able to get a coupon for a discount. But you'll have to leave me a message to get that. This color is almost night. I'm gonna drop a little bit of this in some of my fog here because it's make some clouds this as you can see this is applying beautifully and um, blending and nicely just really nicely I have my paper flat on my little board here so we're not getting a whole lot of run but it, it does granulate really pretty. I think I might go back in here and put some more fog. Some foggy sky up here. I don't want to mess with it too much because then my paper will start to buckle. Let's get some more fog down here. As the, when it's closer and they're lower, they're darker. So let me add some more fog down here bottom. I think we're going to kind of go in here on the bottom and try to do some do some water. Uh, I've got a green color here called green it's pine. So we're going to give this ocean a little bit of a green color. It's my imaginary ocean, right? I add some blue and some yellow and see what we get there too. But I'm really liking this and they're, I'm very impressed with the um, amount of pigment, the way they're spreading, the way they wet and the, um, just the consistency. I I'm, I'm, can't think and paint at the same time. I'm going to put some more wet down in here, just drippy drops. I'm going to add some of this almost night to my water. Just kind of let this stuff run and play. I'll give us some leaves or some waves, maybe. I was thinking green. I said leaves because I was thinking of grass with the green. Then let's add some of this sulfur, yellow. That's pretty too. I'll give my ocean a little bit different color there. As do my other yellows from Daniel Smith. It's kind of a pushy color. It wants to push the other colors out of the way. Yellow does that. One of the other colors I have that I'm going to add here to my beach called red clay it's kind of a reddish peach color almost so we can do some sand with that I'm not getting super detailed obviously but um, come in here and do some do some beach Let's try our gold. It's pretty too. So these are beam paints, handmade paints by Anung, A-N-O-N-G, Beam. Put her website below for you. And I'm very impressed with them. I like the, this is the gold I'm adding to the beach. We can be gold diggers, right? And go to the beach to find some, let me add some more fog. Now, you know, I'm adding this while it's still wet, so I'm getting blooms. That's not the part, fault of the paint, that's the 
fault of the painter. Put some rocks down here. But mainly I wanted to play with the paints and show you what they can do. So we'll just kind of have that come up here and be part of our beach scene. And if I go back into this sky, I'm just gonna get more blooms probably because my paper's still wet. Um, but it's just what I do. I just keep playing and playing and playing. And... But I'm very happy with her color. So I hope you'll check her out, read her story, and uh, support her company. I like to support private handmade companies um, and um, women-owned companies support her vision and her dream for making paints and sharing them with us. I appreciate that. Uh, so we can share her dreams and visions with her. So that's all I'm going to do right now. That I keep saying that and then I keep painting. But I wanted to let you see what I got. Thank you for joining me and please like and subscribe. And if you want some information on Tracy's brushes, uh, join me on Follow Your Brush on Facebook. Leave a mention in the comment that you're going to do that. And I will check the comments and give you some information on how you can get a discount from Tracy for his handmade products as well. So we have handmade paints today from Beam and handmade brushes from Tracy Levinson. This is my swatch card. Beautiful. Now leave the descriptions for everything that I have used today and the links where you can find out yourself. Thanks for watching and um, subscribing and I'll see you soon.